Hey guys, just doing an update video on my Cobot. The uh, model number is RV353. It's a slim series robotic vacuum cleaner. Just a quick picture of it. That's the original box it came in. I did a video a few months ago on a few of the issues with this uh, robotic vacuum cleaner and I just want to address a couple more that have come up. So on the uh, top of the vacuum cleaner, you press this button right here. This opens up the uh, door where the uh, dirt is kept in, in a little plastic tray. The problem is, is when you're pressing the door, it's not doing anything and I'm actually putting a lot of force to the point that you think that you're actually going to break it. Let's try it with two fingers. And as you can see, I can't get it open. So I'm going to try a little bit more off camera and uh, see if I can open that up. And again, I use this one time, so this isn't jam-packed with uh, dirt and whatnot in it. It should be relatively clean. So I was able to open up this door. Now I put a ton of force on that button. And most people are going to have major issues trying to open that, and they'd probably just end up returning it. And as you can see, this is where the uh, dirt goes into. And that's the inside. Again, there's not much in there. Nothing that would uh, cause this to be uh, raised up too much, putting too much force against the door, not causing it to open. And again, there's not much in there, a little bit of cat hair and whatnot. So that's one of my big concerns with this, is most people aren't going to be able to open this uh, door once it's closed. Let's see if it'll open up easier now. Nope. Again, as you can see, it's jammed again. So that's one issue. Next issue that I've already addressed in a previous video, as you can see, the uh, sweepers. They're getting all twisted and whatnot. Now, this isn't a heavily used vacuum. Again, it's used maybe once or twice a week. So, long-term durability on these, you're going to be replacing them a few times a year. Another issue, and this is probably the main one, as you can see, this is the uh, sweeper that actually uh, pushes the uh, dirt and whatnot into the uh, collection tray, and it's not in its little uh, slots. It's as you can see I can wiggle this around and uh, you can kind of push it back into its slot that way. However, it keeps popping out. And as you can see, so you can wiggle it around and that's supposed to be stationary. And uh, again, that's what turns to uh, collect your dirt and uh, put it in your uh, your uh, dirt tray, which is right in that direction right there. Again, this is just another view. As you can see, you can see where this is all disconnected. And again, this isn't heavily used. And this unit was replaced in July of 2018. It's now January of 2019. So it's not that old, you know, it's only a little over uh, six months, seven months old. So it doesn't have a whole lot of hours on it or, you know, a ton of use. And already I'm having a lot of issues. Long-term durability on this, as you can see, it's literally falling apart. These are coming all out of shape. I can barely open the uh, door. To, to access the uh, tray where you empty out the dirt. So that's a huge, huge issue. Long-term durability, I'm actually really, really disappointed. 
something else I'm a little surprised of is again you can see a lot of wear and tear on the uh, side of it and it's on both sides so the uh, finish is coming off and again if it runs into something it's typically going to hit these areas there should almost be like a rubber part along here or higher so it's not uh, eating away at the uh, finish and these aren't cheap either so the finish on this it's certainly uh, wearing on the uh, sides and a couple minor scratches on the top if it goes underneath furniture so how I noticed the issue with the uh, vacuum part underneath the roller is this would run for about three or four seconds stop and beep and then that's when I did the inspection underneath and notice that it's uh, coming off the roller consistently I keep putting it on it pops off again uh, so I'm very disappointed on that uh, one plus thing when it is working it returns to the base unless it gets stuck under something so kudos to uh, Cobot for that again the uh, return to base has always been uh, successful again unless it's stuck under something and the battery life on this I would say is exceptional this will go for an hour or two at times and uh, it's shocking because I would uh, think that it would be dead by then but it keeps going so the battery life seems to be really good on it again it returns to the base uh, which is, I just keep down in the corner of my room so that is a plus um, again the issues that I'm having is the issues with the door not opening the uh, wear on the sides the uh, brushes on the sides are wearing out quicker and uh, coming out of shape as well with the roller underneath so I'm quite disappointed in that long term durability really disappointed I wish uh, Cobot would uh, get in touch with me and maybe we can uh, work together in trying to resolve some of these issues anyways guys this is just a seven month review on the uh, Cobot I'm going to uh, look at the uh, roller underneath and see if I can fix it or why it keeps uh, popping off and then I'll uh, do an updated video on it anyways guys thanks for watching again I just wanted to do a updated uh, review on the uh, Cobot. I've had a few people inquire wondering how it's uh, working out and uh, that's the uh, current status of the uh, vacuum cleaner. Okay guys thanks for watching. I'll probably do an updated video uh, once I look into uh, fixing the roller and maybe it's a fix if other people are having the issue as well as uh, why the uh, door isn't opening. Anyways guys thanks for watching. If you like this type of video you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.